Hello everyone, welcome back. This is now chapter 4, The Patient. So, as soon as we start, the first collectible we are going to find is called the Map Fragment. So pretty much as soon as you start, go left and go up the stairs. And go into the small building. Once you go up the stairs, be careful of the new enemy type. That comes out through the door. And once you have dealt with the bad guy, there will be a map fragment inside here. And that's where it's located. From the last location, this will be document one of one. So the next house to the right hand side, we need to go in. Once you go through, you will find that there's a blocked door that you can squeeze through the gap. In this section here, you will find a bed containing your first document of this level, and the only document. Of course, there's personal documents, but they're slightly different. So once you squeeze back through and entered, well, not entered, but once you squeeze back through the gap, you came through, you leave the house, and you hopefully should notice a shed that will have a, another personal document. So now, once you've done that, you want to go into the mirror and you'll get a short scene. Once you come back to this familiar area, there will be once again a different newspaper on the same rack. And then to the left hand side, once again in the same area like the previous levels, there's a different missing poster or missing person poster. So make sure you grab that. Map fragment number two. During the scene with the nurse, you should hopefully notice the nurse in the very, very far distance looking into the mirror. Do not go towards her. Go for the first door to your left and pick up this map fragment. If you do happen to uh, go to the nurse, this map fragment will be disappeared. No. So, you, so you can't get it no. if you go past the nurse area. So once you go close to her, a door to the left of her will open. As soon as you enter, you will find the next map fragment when the screen flashes or does some sort of effect. You will find it on top of the sink. Once you left the mirror, and now we're going to find the doctor's friend. Go in the door and go into the back room. Now once you get close enough, you'll get a short cutscene. So pretty much for this achievement, all we need to do is just kill him and then watch the sequence. That is pretty much it. There's nothing really special to do with anything about it. What are you doing? Just kill the doctor guy or the surgeon guy and just watch it to get your achievement. Then, like I said, you will get a short scene. And once you finish watching it, you'll get the achievement. In the same location, there will be a key located inside this dead person here. But we can't do that until we look at the x-rays on the table. Once we looked at the x-rays, now we're able to go inside this guy. Once you get a jump scare by the guy, it's not really a jump scare, but once you get a scare, um, you'll pick up the key once you fall back. Okay, once you're in some sort of nightmare mode, 
or dream world, so to speak. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's a bit weird. But once you start in some pool of blood, look to your left and go up this ramp. You will find a switch that releases a body. If you press it one more time, it will release a key or a statue with a key inside. So pretty much that is it for this chapter, guys. And I'll see you guys and girls in chapter five.